Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll be doing the unboxing and my full video review of the OnePlus Buds. So keep watching. Now starting from the unboxing, the box comes in white and red with the visuals of the earbuds in front the OnePlus Buds writing on the left, the logo on the top right, and the color of choice over there which matches the visuals as well. Then at the back, you'll find some of the specs over there. Opening the box, you'll find the charging case itself with the earbuds inside. Underneath, there's the user guide and a USB-A to USB-C cable. Now as for the build quality and size, it is surely one of the lightest earbuds they have ever used which could be great for some people who do not like having the feeling of having something in your ears as it is really light at 4.7 grams for the earbuds alone. Now it has a long stock kind of design very similar to a particular premium branded one. And as you all have been watching all my videos know that I'm not a fan of this particular stock kind of design. Then the earbuds do not have any silicone tips which means that it's either going to fit in your ears or it won't as there's no customization on the sizes so keep that in mind. Now as for the earbuds finish, it is made of a glossy kind of finish which I've not been a big fan of glossy finish earbuds due to its slippery nature especially when working out but yes, these earbuds are definitely not made for working out. Next, looking at the charging case, it has like a pebble shaped kind of design which I love the fact that it had a matte finish which means that it is not as slippery to take it around on the go especially if your hands are sweaty or wet. And speaking of sweat, what's great is that the OnePlus Buds is IPX4 sweat and water resistant so yes, you can always use this safely while working out or even under a tiny bit of rain without having any problems of the OnePlus Buds getting spoiled. Now speaking of working out, as much as this is not made for working out, as mentioned in my previous earbuds reviews, I usually use earbuds from a day-to-day -day basis both for casual and also for working out and since these earbuds come with a very extremely light design and does not come with the silicon tips, it was fine during casual listening or even running on a treadmill but when I was doing weighted exercises, I did find myself keep adjusting it back to my ears it has never come out while working out but there was always that feeling of anxiety that it just might come out while working out but nevertheless, here is a quick hashtag Sawan Mode Test Then looking at the ports and buttons on the charging case at the back, there's a button where if you press it once, you'll get the indication where the case needs to be charged or if you press and hold it, it works as a pairing button. Then underneath, there's a USB-C port. Now as for pairing, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0 and the best experience that you would get is surely with a OnePlus Nord phone or even other latest OnePlus phones where in a matter of seconds, after opening the charging case for the very first time, it will immediately go into the pairing mode and after it's paired, the main advantage of using these buds with a OnePlus phone as mentioned is the fact that you can go into the customized controls in the Bluetooth settings to change each function of the touch navigation which I'll go into next. Now as for the playback and control options, there is a circular touchpad at the earbuds where by default, double tapping at each side goes to the next track. Then touching it once pauses or resumes the track. And since the earbuds comes with a proximity sensor, it will automatically pause the movie or a music playback when you take your earbuds out of your ears and it will resume the playback after you put it on. Now there's no volume adjustments which means that you will indeed need to adjust the volume to your phone or any other media sources. And when it comes to the phone call controls, double tapping the touch area either answers a call or hang up a call and tapping and holding the touch area of the earbuds for 5 seconds rejects a call. 
All right, as mentioned earlier that the customization options to change the function of this touchpad is only available for Bluetooth settings on the OnePlus devices. So that is quite a bummer where you'll find the battery indicator for each earbuds within the Bluetooth settings. And you also find a charging case battery indicator over there as well. And you can also customize to change to also call out your voice assistant. Then there's also the option to find your earbuds over there together with other features to toggle on or off the phone calls, media, audio and many more. However, as mentioned that all of these options are not available on other devices but it does work as a Bluetooth earbuds still for Android and iOS devices. Now as for sound quality, it was overall decent, nowhere near the quality of the premium ones out there of course. Now the overall sounds was very well balanced with a 13.4mm driver and AAC HD audio codec. Now this is something which a bass lover may not really appreciate and as usual I felt that mid-range earbuds always did not have enough volume output. As usual I'm quite the deaf fuller. But for casual music listening or even playing a non-competitive game was totally fine with no audio to video latency when watching videos as well. Now speaking of non-competitive gameplay, some have mentioned about how you know they have problems having latency issues while playing games. But again, if you guys are a serious gamers, you should not even look into wireless earbuds and just use a wired instead. So that answers everyone who has been complaining about latency issues when it comes to wireless earbuds so keep that in mind and as for the earbuds microphone or call quality it has a total of three microphones on the earbuds and here is a microphone quality test so this is a test with the microphone where there is one fan turned on test one two test one two three and this is a microphone test with the fan and aircon turned on to maximum fan. So hopefully it sounds good. Test one, two, test one, two. Now finally, let's look at the battery life. With a full charge, I got a rough total of six hours and 10 minutes at volume at 100% all the time as usual, where it was great for this kind of price range, so that was nice, so good job on plus. And on top of that, the charging case also apparently gives you a total of 30 hours of listening time, which I haven't gotten to really calculate on that, but based on some reviews that I've read and saw, that is just about right. Then there's a quick charge on the case where a charge of 10 minutes gave me about close to 9 hours plus of battery and since that this is not a premium price earbuds, there's no wireless charging. Now in conclusion, I humbly think if you are an Android user or an iOS user, there are many other options that could be quite appealing for your use cases within this price range but I felt that the OnePlus Buds were built for those real OnePlus users out there who wanted to slowly build their very own ecosystem of things while OnePlus has other options like the OnePlus Bullet Wireless which technically still has wires so this would be the ideal option to go totally wireless especially if you are a OnePlus user. As for the price here in Malaysia, the OnePlus Buds is going for 399 ringgit and is available in not blue, white and grey which is coming really soon and it's available on Shopee from the 25th of August 2020 from 12am onwards. And I'll leave a link down below for you guys to get yourself one. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys found this video helpful in making your purchase decision. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Then touching it once, pauses and resumes the tear. Ta -ta. <laughs> and on top of that, the charging case also apparently gives you... Apparently... 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 And apparently... Yeah. Apparently... It's apparently you're spinning around and apparently every time you get dizzy... Lucky during the Savan mode test it didn't fly off. It felt like it was going to fly off but it did not fly off. Good job. Fly.